Hello everyone, welcome to my live stream. Today I will be doing a reading on Prince Charles, another royal. We're back with another royal video. Um, Prince Charles is the next one that I'm called to do. Spirit just keeps bringing them. Uh, a couple days ago it was Prince Harry, now, or no, it was Prince William, now it's Prince Charles. So I don't know who's going to be next. I'm Actually, I think I know who's going to be next, but I'm not going to spoil it. Anyways, um, I'm Lamar Townsend. If you're new to my channel, I am a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share with your friends and family. This is actually a Twitch live stream. I am on my Twitch channel, actually, so follow me on my Twitch, Vimeo, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, Lamar Townsend Tarot is my handle on all those platforms. Also, make sure that you, um, if you want a reading, I am available for personal readings. Check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. This is my reading, and I would, or this is my website, and I would love to read for you. All right. Actually, that's my Twitch account. Um... So this is my um, website, all right, lamartownsandtarot.com. And yeah, you can definitely go to the Schedule Now button to schedule your reading with me. It'll take you right to my Schedulicity page. Okay. <clears throat> Where you can book your reading with me. Um... My computer's a little bit slow. Um, I have, I probably have a few programs pulled up. And as you can see, quite a few apps, but it'll take you to my Schedulicity page. Um, I'm just going to close out of it now. Oh, here we are. They finally worked. This is my Schedulicity page. You can go to the services section of the Schedule Now button. As you can see, I was last booked for a reading three hours ago. Um, you can also go right to the store section and directly purchase your reading. All my services and products are on the store section of my website. And like I said, I am a psychic and energy channeler, <clears throat> a tarot reader, and an astrologer. So I do astrology, natal chart, birth chart readings. Excuse me. I also do past life readings. I do psychic tarot readings. I also do tarot classes. I teach you how to read tarot cards. I also am a sewer, so I sew face masks and scarves. Um, I also do candles as well as bracelets, okay? And I also sell black soap, which is good for eczema, dry skin. It's an all-natural soap made in Africa. Um, and yeah, it also kills germs, all right, such as covid it is also good for hair, so it is literally the only thing I use on my skin and hair. Um, I have eczema, and I get really bad flare-ups. I've had no issues since using black soap. It clears up your um, dark spots, too, if you have any issues with that. Um, and what else does black soap do? It does it all, and it's the only thing I use in my hair. I think I'm actually going to use some in my hair tonight, actually, because my hair is kind of dry. That's the interesting thing about black soap. It's a shampoo and conditioner all in one. Um, when I use it, I don't need conditioner. I think because it's all natural. Anyway, I digress. The Royals, Prince Prince Will, Prince Charles, all right? Sorry, I'm not, you know, from the UK, all right? <laughs> Although I love, I'm starting to love UK culture, I, I'm noticing, you know, from Drag Race and, you know, this whole situation with the Royals. I'm starting to really get interested. Anyway, let's get into Prince Charles and see what's going on with Prince Charles, okay? Make sure you guys like the video. Follow me on my Twitch once again. Subscribe. Also, check out my podcast on Amazon, or not on Amazon, check out my podcast on Google, uh, Apple, Spotify, Anchor, and more. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck. May you pass reading in Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. <clears throat> Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck. May you pass reading in Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this sage out so we don't cough, you know, or get our allergies worked up. <laughs> and then we're going to pull an oracle card for the crowning card for Prince Charles. Writing. Interesting. Prince Charles got the writing card for his crowning card for his reading. Reading. All right. He got the writing card. It says, you heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. Also note, though, how, like, the older male is, like, holding the pen of the younger woman writing. I find that quite interesting. It's like, is it really her words or is it his words? Kind of thing. Um, which is interesting because usually I see these cards in a good light, typically, right? Um, I mean, I wonder if Prince Charles himself is a writer, like if he like has a journal or if he keeps if he writes things down, because I kind of get that, but I get like I get a weird thing with like it's someone else's writings, but it's really Prince Charles's words. Like, or it's, it's like someone else's words, but it's like actually Prince Charles or like, there's something weird with that. <clears throat> so I don't know. That's it. That's his crowning card. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. What's in store or uh, what's around Prince Charles? What's going on with Prince Charles? Remember to like the video, subscribe, follow. share um rate rate do all those things you need to do okay <laughs> i don't even know what rate rate means but spirit said rate i don't know what that means but rate the video for Prince Charles, I get the Five of Cups and his placement of self-image, public image. Um, I get this kind of thing with Prince Charles where it's like at one point he was very, very highly favored by the public. This could be the public in general and not just the UK public. But um, as time has gone on up until this point, it's like there's this kind of skepticism. All right. Um, there's been a lot of chatterings a lot of gossip you know that has caused people to raise their eyebrows and you know um to act like it's nothing but at the same time it's like you know it's like the energy of um a mother a protective mother you know who has a tr troublesome child and everyone is is you know um Telling the, the mother that, you know, the child is troublesome, troublesome, but the mother's like, no, 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 you know, he he's fine, you know, no, there's no problems, you know, he or she's perfect. But, you know, actually behind the scenes, you know, she, she kind of knows there is something off, you know, and maybe even feels bad about it. Like, I'm getting that connected to Prince Charles. But I'm not sure which side of the spectrum he falls on concerning that. Because this is the five, so this is Mercury. Five deals with Mercury, right? So Mercury deals with communication, intellect, the mind. It also deals with siblings. So I'm not sure how that would come into the picture. I don't know his siblings. All right? There is a woman in the picture. She does look older or elderly, so it does kind of remind me of the queen. Okay? I do get kind of worried around the queen about, like, what happens once I'm, like, no longer here? Like, is everything going to gonna turn to, you know, to dust? You know, is everything going to crumble? She worries about that. <clears throat> I get the ten of coins around uh, money for Prince Charles. So there's definitely a lot of money, inherited money, possibly. Soon to be inherited maybe within the next maybe ten months. 
two years, possibly. Definitely within the next two years. He's kind of playing his role with that, whatever that is. You know, he's kind of playing his role in order to ensure that. I get the five of wands once again. So I think, is he not seeing eye to eye with one of his siblings or something like that? Does he have a sibling? Um, I'm pretty sure I feel like he does. It kind of feels like, like fighting between favorites. Like, you know, no, I'm the favorite. No, you're, the, you know, I'm the favorite. It's like that kind of thing. Going on with Prince Charles and maybe one of his siblings. It feels like another male. They could be around the same age. One of them could be older, maybe five years, up to five years older. Um, I get the Six of Swords and his placement of family, home, um, emotional, um, his sense of emotional maturity. He's a little bit selfish, Prince Charles. He does, he does kind of think of himself and his life and his public image. He's one of those people that, you know, plays the nice guy, but he has a snarky side to him, you know? That's what I get. <clears throat> I get the death card in the placement of uh, romance. Um, children. Childhood. It kind of feels like to me evidence found. Some sort of evidence found. Like, aha, we found it. We've been looking for it. You know, like, you know, the woman holding the skull. And it's like there's some seems to be some sort of celebration. Once again, a skull skeleton shows up again in his the placement of work job, daily routine health. See uh this could also deal with secrets, secret money maybe, secret ways of making money, secret underhanded motives. I feel like I see Prince Charles like not necessarily causing havoc, but I see Prince Charles as like the Joker of of the um the royal the royal kingdom, the royal the royal um castle like prince charles is like the per like you know the the person that will like you know he knows everyone and he knows everyone's position and everyone's role so you know he'll go to um this person and tell them you know a certain information and then he'll go to this person and tell them the wrong information and then he'll go to this person you know and you know put the blame on them and it's like you know he and then he'll walk away from it all and you know, watch everything, you know, combust behind him while he laughs and, inter you know, entertainment. It's like there's something, like, weird Jekyll Hyde-ish, you know, a little with Prince Charles, just saying. I do get the two of wands here in the placement of one-on-one -on -one relationships and business partnerships. There is this kind of energy of do I stay or do I go? It does feel like more so in association with someone else. Do I keep in my association with this person do i not keep my association with this person do i say something do i not say something that's what i feel could it be involving a scandal maybe not necessarily his could be his could be involved someone else close to him i get the um wheel of fortune in his place no spiritual growth i feel like prince charles is going to use some sort of Maybe downfall of someone else or some sort of um, situation within the family or that goes on within the royal kingdom to elevate himself somehow, some way. Once again, he's going to walk away like he doesn't know what he's doing. It just happened, but he knew exactly what he was doing. Could involve long distance travel, could involve foreign affairs, education, uh, spirituality, religion. Um, something along those lines could show up nine days, nine weeks, nine months, maybe the end of the year, you know, 2021 moving into 2022. I get secrets around the past. I get secrets also around professional, um, status and society career. What exactly does Charles do for money? There's a lot of secrets around money. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, I get the four of wands. 
not saying that you know he you know is isn't you know an upstanding guy but there's some weird energy here but as you know a skilled tarot reader professional tarot reader i have to acknowledge all right i do get the four of wands here um in his placements of friends acquaintances social groups prince charles feels like the person will he'll, he'll do the dirty work with you but when you get caught you know he'll act like he doesn't know you all right the last card i get is the king of coins hi everyone prince charles is an, is an evil man it feels like it hi lol Lola Mayhem. Thank y'all for being here. Make sure y'all follow me on my Twitch. As you guys know, we're doing Prince Charles and this yeah, this reading is uh is is an interesting one to say the least. Um, uh, I get that he's all about money at the end of the day. This Prince Charles, I don't know his zodiac sign. This would be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus or a Pisces man or masculine energy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I get that at the end of the day. Prince Charles is going to follow the money. So where the money goes is where Prince Charles goes. Okay? Period. So I guess that's, you know, safe to say if there's ever a scandal with Prince Charles. By the way, this is all a legend for entertainment purposes only. If there's ever a scandal with Prince Charles, follow the money. All right? And I think I'll end there. Okay, thank you for listening and watching. If you would like a reading from me, definitely check out my website, lamartownsintero.com. I really appreciate you all for being here. Um, until the next one, subscribe, like, follow, and I'll see you all in my next video. Love and light. Have a great night, day, morning, evening, whenever you're watching, okay? Bye.